Our seventh inductee is Eric Schmidt. Eric was one of the early standouts for the men's lacrosse program from 1996 to 1999. He totaled 122 goals and 137 assists for 259 career points in just 60 games, ranking among the top five in goals, assists, and points in the Mustang record books. I think that Eric embodies what kind of member you want in the Hall of Fame. He was an academic all-star, he was a lacrosse all-star. Um, after he moved away from Stevens, or Villa Julie, I'm sorry, at the time, and began his life, he's been a great husband, he's been a great father, he's extremely active in his children's lives in our community, um, in his children's school life, in their, in their now academic careers, and their now athletic careers. He's very involved, and I think that shows what a well-rounded person he is. Eric was a good leader. Eric also had a very good mind for the sport. Uh, I think his stats speak to that very well. If you look at one of his largest stats, it's assists. He was a very unselfish player, um, and I think that's very unique in the sense that he had so many assists because he saw the other players in the field. He could see things develop. He was, he was always aware of what was going on. And I think that's what led to a lot of his success. Um, I'd even say sometimes when we played teams that were way better than us, you could have beat Eric on the scoreboard, but you weren't going to beat Eric. Even the best defenseman that he ever played against had to think to himself coming onto the field, this guy is going to give me a lot of trouble today. You felt welcome around Eric when you came on the field. Um, I've known Eric since we were in high school together, which was quite a long time ago, but even with the new guys that I came in with, he made sure that you felt welcome, and he also made sure that you got with the system right away, like when to be at practice, how to be at practice, um, you know, leading the drills, making sure that the new guys came in and played attack, knew the system, made sure people learned plays right away. I'm extremely proud and honored that I was asked to do this for him, that I had the pleasure of playing with him for years and years, that I still have the privilege and just the time to spend with him now with our children involved in our school and being part of the things that we're a part of in our children's lives to kind of pass on the same values that was instilled in him to, to give him this honor and him making these achievements. So I'm very proud of him and I, you know, welcome to the Hall of Fame, Eric. From the class of 2000, it is my honor to welcome Eric Schmidt into the Dick Watts Athletics Hall of Fame. Thank Whew. Wow. <laughs> thank you very much, everyone. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, first, I want to say thank you to Brett and Paul and the uh, Hall of Fame committee. Um, and congratulations to my fellow inductees and past inductees that are here tonight. Um, it's a great honor. Um, I'm very honored, very humbled, and just to be considered for this is, is amazing. So I just want to say thank you to all those folks out there that made this happen for us. Uh, not only for myself, but like I said, my other inductees and past inductees. I also want to thank my good friend Mike, who obviously prepared that video for us. Um, like you said, Mike and I have known each other for quite some time. We went to high school together, we played college lacrosse together, our kids go to the same school together, um, our wives even work together. So, uh, interesting enough, we, we stay in touch with each other. So, but, but what, a, what a great job, just want to say thanks, and he's always been a big supporter of me. So I do want to thank him for that. I want to be brief, but I just want to share one memory about Villa Julie Stevenson, uh, about what it's meant to me. I went back last night and watched a couple of the uh, acceptance videos from other inductees and brought up a lot of fond memories for me. Um, the thing that I remember the most was the size of our team. You probably heard that a lot about our teams uh, back in the past. We were very small compared to what Stevenson is now. We had about 15, 20 players, um, which made it a very small, tight-knit group. Um, Though we were small in numbers, we always stuck together and we battled in the field. We never brought adversary, but we always encouraged and covered each other's back. Um, that's what a team does. It helps each other by working together as a group 
to accomplish a common goal. We all had our roles. We all knew what we needed to do, and we did it. This allowed us to succeed as a team, but more importantly, as the men we have become today. My teammates and my coaches have a lot to do with why I'm here today, and I thank them for that. We always stuck together and believed in each other, and I'm sincerely thankful for them. Before I end, I want to thank some people who have always supported me through my life, my family, my parents, my step-parents are over there. Um, they've always supported me. My sister is also here with us. Um, just always have been there for me. My extended family, Mr. Jim and Ms. Kyle, uh, they're here tonight. They've always supported me throughout everything I've done. And obviously my wife and my kids, my wife, Jen, I'm, I think I'm the third member now that's met their wife here or their, their significant other here. So I met my wife here also, uh, here at Villa Julie or Stevenson. So, and my three daughters, Delaney, Reagan, and Cameron, who all play lacrosse now too. So um, very fortunate to have Villa Julie in my life in Stevenson. Um, I met a lot of great people and obviously I met my, my future family here. Um, and last but not least, I wanna thank all the great people who put this evening together. Um, I'm not sure who they all are, uh, but they deserve a big thank you. So if you're here tonight, I just want to say thank you guys for putting this together. Um, I know a couple, Brett, I know Paul, you, you're, you're very tired right now. He's been here early in the morning. So, um, but this is truly a great honor and I'm very humbled by this award. I just want to say thank you to Stevenson and I hope you guys all have a great evening. Thank you very much.